Hi everyone, welcome to another installation of the Row Review. I'm going to be talking about the mesh slipper today. I have them here in the black. The mesh slipper is a really simple shoe. It's a slip-on, elasticated here. It's not an open back, it's a closed back, so a little more like a ballet flat made of fabric. So it's mesh here, leather sole, and very thin. Again, as you know, a running theme with the row, not a lot of padding, very thin sole at the bottom, hard. It's a relatively malleable, so it's an easy walk. Very simple and really nice with pants. I find I like them the most with, with pants and trousers. So pricing, they were around 600 US dollars which is a lot for a shoe like this. I mean, it's a mesh slipper. I don't know why they're 600 US dollars. I really don't. I, it's, it's curious to me and I would not have paid full price for them. I bought them on sale and I don't think there's any other way I would have purchased them. Now, I'll qualify that statement because I have seen many people wearing their mesh slippers and loving them. So they're getting a lot of wear out of them. And if you equate that with you know, worthiness of the price, then maybe that works for you, but it's not an all leather shoe. Sizing, it's true to size. However, they weren't offered everywhere in the full size range. As you know, with some shoes, retailers will pick up whole sizes only. This was one of those cases for me. I got them on sale and had a choice between six and seven, tried them on both of them. The six was fine. It wasn't too short, but I have nerve issues and my, my feet get compressed in the six. So I, I opted for the seven and it's a bit too long, but if, so there you go. You might be able to go down a half size, up a half size, depending on what you can find. Comfort. They are comfortable, reasonably, much like the cashmere slipper not a lot of support on the bottom, but there's no blisters, no issues when I walk. I, I think maybe that is because I went up a half size as well. So it's a comfortable shoe. Availability. They were done in a bunch of colors, black and cream and lilac and navy blue. And there were some embellished versions as well. They're hard to find now, pretty much sold out. I saw a couple pop up on eBay and the real real mega sale and i should have bought them because it was a seven in the ivory and i think they're just a gorgeous shoe i should have scooped them up i didn't so if you can find any color in a size discounted that suits you i would say get them there there's a there's a few places like gilt and i think there was another retailer that had the embroidered one available but it's in the 600 700 range and i just don't think that they're worth it full price there is one retailer that still has the navy blue and there may be others out there and i just don't know about it but lane crawford has the navy blue in a few sizes left so that might be an option for you would i recommend them what i would say is if they're on sale i would recommend them because they're a really pretty shoe and they go nicely with with slacks and i i do like them a lot i haven't taken them out um as yet i've walked around a lot in the house so like hours and hours and they're just going they're great just not a lot of cushioning on the bottom again. So just put a padding in and off you go, especially if you go half size up, there's room to accommodate that padding. That is my take on the mesh slipper.